Guys, I am outside working on my flower beds. So I have flower beds all along the house, up there. Um, I am working on them right now. Let me show you guys some of the, uh, my rhubarb is coming up. My tulips are coming up. I'm so excited for them to come up and my strawberries are starting to get, the leaves are starting to get green. Super cool. I'm excited. Been working on this for a lot, a while. Here's my rhubarb. There's one. Another one you can see just peeking through the red. And then uh, my strawberries here. A buttload of strawberries last year we had. Uh, last year was the first year that we could harvest them, so this year will be really nice. I have a lot of perennial plants in this flower bed here. Um, I gotta figure out something to put under this pine tree or else get rid of this pine tree one or the other because it's mostly shade and I don't really have any shade plants. But you can see my tulips are coming up. So this is this one flower bed. And then this is, we have some lavender in this flower bed here and some other perennial plants. Last year I bought a ton of perennial plants. Uh, we were gonna put a fence around this patio because this little stinker who's now walking uh, likes to go over by the farm animals and it just terrifies me that she's gonna get stepped on. So we did end up moving a bunch of rocks because we were gonna put the fence along that window and down and around but we didn't end up doing that yet um so i gotta put some more rocks in there and you can see my some of my perennials are coming back already but we have this flower bed over here oh flies you see those flies is not i'm not excited for fly season that's for sure because of all the farm animals we have we have a lot of flies this one we have a bleeding heart bush that i gotta I still gotta work on this flower bed yet. I have not done that. My dog decided to dig, which I reprimanded him for because that is not okay. And then we have some other um, perennial bushes in here or flowers in here that I have to work on yet too. So those are my flower beds that I need to work on. I got these flowers from Costco. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them on our um, dog's grave. We've lost two of our dogs uh, last year. Was it last year? It's been two. Oh, holy crap. It's been two years already that we lost two of our dogs and we buried them in the back of our yard. So we're basically going to make a memorial um, with these flowers for them. They are very missed. I'm going to take you guys to where we buried our dogs, where we're going to make a little memorial for them. Um, this is basically our, our woods that we have around here. Not much. A bunch of pine trees. Some lilac bushes here. Okay, so right here... Where you can see it kind of like is not very grassy. Um, right in this area is where we buried our babies, um, our doggies. Their names were Bridget and Remington. And so we are going to make a memorial for them there. This is our. That's it. That's all we have for wood. Check these. Mushrooms growing out of this dead tree. Those things are ginormous. Look at those. That's huge. There's a woodpecker that nests up in there. You can see the holes right there. Got a woodpecker. Um, here we have maple, uh, mini crab apple there. Um, we just planted last year. Um, I believe this is our cherry tree here. Yep, okay, so we just planted this cherry tree um, last year, hoping that takes off this year and 
grows well. This is a pear tree here. This is another pear tree that we planted. So we'll have two different types of pear trees. This is a apple tree here. Um, I think this is, oh yeah, yellow delicious. So that should be yummy. And then this is a pink lady apple tree here. And here's my magnolia bush. I'm excited for that to flower because it's so pretty when it does. My husband is moving stuff today on the farm because we're going to put some doors in so that it's easy accessible for him to get through with a bobcat and uh, just scoop the poop all the way through. Did you back up? Did you back up? He's trying to get it out of the ground. It doesn't look like it's coming out of the ground. to use the C80. Or the skid loader. Oh. Oh yeah. This is the LX350 case. This is where people hooked up their horses. The hitching post. But we don't use it anymore. Enoch, you stay back. You stay by mommy. Oh. Just broke off instead of pulling the post up. I mean, there were screws. The screws are still attached here. Get back, please. Move it a little bit more.
You can put him down. This is a today. You can see Miss Kissa over there. She's trying to ride a training bike for the first time. It's a little difficult for her, but she's getting it. <laughs> Little buddy, he always follows the tractor, so you got to be right on him. He's very tractor obsessed. What are you doing, Enoch? Yeah, I know you want the tractor, don't you? You want Daddy give you a ride? You go say ride, Daddy. Say please. please. Give him a little. Come on, buddy. shop blasting such a nice day today what do you need sweetie what do you need got your hat in your eyes do you need help you need help here you go sneaky he uh, pulled it out without me videoing it but I'm gonna video the other one that he pulls out when he comes back here's our gas guys wouldn't it be so cool if we did an Airbnb in that silo right now it's currently not used obviously we would have to see structurally how sound it is but it looks pretty freaking amazing and it'd be I, th I think it would be awesome to have a Airbnb in there. They have like four levels in there. I think it would be sweet. <laughs> Check that out. So cool. So deep. How are you going to pull them out, babe? You're going to hook a chain around it? Yes, you may have a snack. A granola bar. But rem the f pantry's locked. So you need to ask nicely for mommy to help you open it. A bubble bar! A bubble bar! You want a bubble bar? <laughs> bubble bar means granola bar. You can't quite say that yet. Alright, he is back and ready. Sexy farmer husband. <laughs> Is your hand all dirty? We need to wipe it off. Did you fall? Are you so good? Where's your mixings at? You took them off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, watch out. Step back. There we go. Here it comes. Now I gotta take my son to baseball practice. He now has baseball practice three days a week. Crazy.